everyone. So I actually filmed this video last Friday, and I think Fridays might be the days I'll be able to make my videos. So this video is about the reason and how I got into birds. So I will play the video clips that I made last Friday. Hi everyone. So today's video is going to be about why I and how I got into birds. All right. So I was, I'm an animal lover. I love all animals. Horses are my number one animal. You guys know if you watch my videos, I have so many horse videos, but birds are like my second favorite animal and I just love them so much. And I, my mom, she thinks I'm insane because I spend so much money on my birds and my horses than I do myself. Like I'd rather buy them new toys and stuff before I would buy myself new clothes. Crazy. Oh, uh, Kiwi's gonna. She went to the bathroom. Oh, well. She might come back in. I don't know. Sorry about that. In the first part of the video is about Kiwi. Let me see if I can go get her real quick. Oh, here she comes. Step up. Good girl. Okay, she came back. Well, anyways. Oh, you're so cute. Are you a baby? Well, anyway. One day, I was like. I was watching bird videos, funny bird videos and stuff, and I was like, I would love to have a bird. Like, I didn't know barely anything about birds. My parents would talk about bir their bird. They had a parakeet named Rocky, and he could talk and stuff, and he was pretty neat. And when they had their apartment, when they just got together, well, married and stuff. So, what is it? So, um, they told me about Rocky and stuff, and I used to have a little parakeet. It was a blue parakeet named Clara. I will try to add a picture up right here if I can find it. I know that I have it somewhere. But her name was Clara and oh my goodness. She, I just like, she did everything with me. Like, she's completely opposite from Kiwi. Kiwi is so scared and shy and, and I had that little bird named Clara and I thought that birds just sit in cages. Like, I did not think that birds needed so much I'm sure a lot of people think this. They just kind of sat in their cage and they, my mom said she'd get them out after she came home from work, which I don't think a lot of people knew. And Clara, I would get her out and she'd be in her cage all the time. I would never leave my birds in a cage now like I did back then. But then I was watching some bird videos and stuff and I was like, wow, these birds actually do a lot more and like they're they're just still in the cage and they need so much time and stuff and I've never I knew I liked birds but I didn't love birds like I do now so I was watching parakeet videos and cockatiel videos and I was like maybe I should get a parakeet as a starter bird now you know that only new bird people say starter birds because there is no actual starter bird uh, but I'm not going to get into that in this video. But that's what I thought, starter bird. And she is so shy. She was a hard starter bird. I had to sit with her every single day. I would bring her cage. I'm talking about you. I would bring her cage and sit it on my bed. And... Punky's on my knee. I would sit it on my bed and I would reach my hand in there and it took me forever like it took me maybe a month and a half to be able for her to even put her foot on my finger and then she would stand all the way up on my finger and then finally she started to come out and she did not start coming out of her cage within probably six months she was a scared bird when I tell you like she was a scared bird that's what she was after I got kiwi I was looking into bigger birds because like Oh my goodness, I fell in love, absolutely in love with her, and I spent so much time with her, and I knew that I loved birds. Well then about, I don't know how much later, I got punky, maybe seven months after Kiwi, I was like looking on bird rescue websites and people rehoming their birds, and I commented and asked, like, w tell me what birds you all had. I was like, I would like to have a little conure of some sort, like a green cheek conure or a turquoise conure. Well, then Punky came up, and she was really cheap. And this lady had a bunch of boxers, and she was a school teacher and had kids. 
So she did not have time for this little girl. So I was like, I saw the first video of Pumpy and I was like, oh my goodness, my little girl. That's my bird. That's going to be my bird. So my dad hates animals, as you guys know. But he actually likes Kiwi because she's really quiet and she just kind of keeps to herself a lot. That's not Pumpy at all. That was my work calling me. Where did my little bird go? Okay, so Kiwi went somewhere. I'm not sure where she went. Oh. <laughs> okay. Don't land on Punky. It's okay. Hi, little girl. I put the phone down and it scared them half to death. Well, my dad hates animals. But he thought Kiwi was like a good fit and she just kind of sits around and keeps to herself and things. Well, he thought all birds were going to be like that, just sit around and like, of course Kiwi would fly around and stuff and I'd have her out, but she was just super shy and stuff. She still is and she barely trusts many people. But anyways, um, I brought Punky home and she screamed one big scream and my dad's like, ooh. I don't know about this. It's like too late. She's my baby. So when I first got Punky, I opened the little travel cage and she flew right to my shoulder. And I was like, oh my goodness, because Kiwi would never ever do that. So Punky just made me fall in love. Like I love birds. Like I want more birds in my future. But I won't be able to get any more birds until I get my own place and can spend more time because I'm actually right after this I'm going to make another video about how I balance my time with all my animals my horses my parrots with my job and my mom because she has MS and I have to do a lot with her so thanks for watching